Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can sharpen or soften your images in DaVinci Resolve. Let's get started. So first of all, it doesn't require the studio version, just the regular version is fine. So if you don't have the paid version, you're in luck. Now let's head over to the color page, but before we do that, make sure your clip is selected. Then go to the color page. Now, head over to this tab. This is the sharpening and softening page, as you can see. So, softening at some point becomes blur, and sharpening is just sharpening. But softening at smaller levels just makes the image seem softer, just like the name sounds. If you're trying to get a blur effect, then I would recommend using the different blur from Open Effects, which maybe I'll leave another tutorial on. Maybe. Anyway, if you over sharpen your footage, it will look very artificial and won't look very cinematic. But for anime edits and stuff like that, where you want it to seem like it's higher resolution when it really isn't, then over sharpening is okay, but I don't make that kind of content, so I wouldn't recommend it personally. Over softening just makes your image look way too low resolution or just blurry as if you don't have it in focus. So I recommend having a, a sharpness level somewhere between 0 0.49 and 0 0.54. Those are the maximum ranges. I would do 0 0.52 or 0 0.51 regularly. I think 0 0.52 is just the perfect balance, but sometimes 0 0.51 is the perfect balance. It really depends on the shot. Sorry about the shaking footage here. I was using the Moment camera app and for some reason the stabilization isn't very good there. So I wouldn't recommend it if you're wondering about the Moment camera app. So I just use Blackmagic Cam in case anyone was wondering. But that kind of brings me to another point of mine. This video is pretty short, but as you can see, there's still parts of the video remaining. And let me explain why. When we hit 100 subscribers, I am going to buy the new iPhone 16 Pro Max. Yep, the newest model. Currently I have the iPhone 14 Pro and it's not bad at all. I shot this on it and it doesn't look bad at all, but the main caveat is that it can't shoot in Apple ProRes Log, which is a really important feature. And I know it came out on the 15th, but also I want to try out the camera control button and I hope they implement support on the Blackmagic camera app. Anyway, that's just a sneak peek at what will be happening on the Hudson subscriber special, along with another mini film being made and many more to come. Last week, I posted a mini film about the Imperial Palace. And this week, I'm posting a mini film about Tokyo Midtown in Roppongi. This is going to be one of the shots actually. If you want to check out that video, I'll leave it linked in the top right corner and in the description. So I guess I'll see you guys later at 100 subscribers or before then. Sorry I haven't been posting too much recently and that's why I am making up for it with the 100 subscriber special. New iPhone. Also keep in mind, I can't get it precisely on the 100 subscribers, but it will be very near. So I hope you guys can subscribe and if not, it's fine. Okay, see ya. Bye.